Many games display health bars to visually represent how much health an enemy or a player might have. It's a lot easier to parse than a number when you're quickly glancing at it. Some games even display both a number and a bar. I've got a simple demo here where when I press the space bar, the health of this icon could be the player decreases. And when it goes below zero, it resets to five. So we've got a value that's changing and we want to represent it in the UI. Godot makes it really easy to add a health bar. In our main scene, if you just type in bar, you'll find this progress bar label. And it's so great for making quick, simple, clean health bars. So add a progress bar to your scene. We'll just call it health bar. And we'll expand it out to make it a little bit larger. And we'll place it right here in our game. Now, in the inspector, you'll see a few different options already. Fill mode, beginning to end, so you can make it fill left to right or right to left and that sort of thing. You can toggle on and off the percentage. We're gonna toggle it off because that is, um, we don't necessarily wanna show it here because it's more of a health bar instead of like a loading indicator, but this could also be used for a loading indicator. We're gonna set our max value to five just so that we have a max that it can use, but we'll, in the uh, code, we'll set that dynamically. We're gonna change the step to one because we're gonna increment it in one. There's no partial health uh, points. And then we're just gonna save that. In the script, or in the code, we've just got some simple things. We set the label value uh, on ready via function, and then we damage the player when the space bar is pressed. And that decreases health. If the health is less than zero, we reset it to max health, and then we set the health label to that text. So then all we need to do here is, you know, let's go, we have health bar, and let's refresh on the properties really quick. We have min value, max value. We're gonna leave min value zero. Max value, we're gonna set to our constant max health, and we're gonna change the value of it on damage to uh, set it accordingly. So we'll say, We'll say set health bar. We'll make that a function. Doesn't exist yet, so we'll go ahead and make that func set health bar. And maybe we'll also say health bar dot max value is equal to max health. This is all just in the main scene, but you know, you could associate this with a player scene or uh, however you want to approach it. But then to set health bar, what we do is we'll just say health bar dot value is equal to our health variable. And that's it. So uh, in terms of getting this set up, so we have the max value that we set and then we set the health bar amount accordingly. And then here, after we set the health, we just go ahead and we say, uh, after we say set health label, we'll just say set health bar. Now if we rerun our game, you see it's full. If I press the space bar, it decreases, goes down to zero, reset back to five, and it decreases. So all you have to do is take the node, set the value to a number amount, and uh, you've got health bars in a very short amount of time. We can go ahead and make this code a little better. Like we can say like update health UI, make that our own function. And then we'll just take this here, here. So it's a little bit cleaner. We could even put these functions since they're just one-liners in here. But if those got more complicated, we uh, might want them to be in their own functions. So we go ahead and run that again, make sure it still works. Yep, everything's working. So there's how to add really simple health bars in Godot. I think the default styling is actually quite dapper, but um, there are ways to uh, adjust it with the theme settings here. I don't know too much about that yet though. So I, uh, when I learn it, I'll make a video about it. But for now, these simple health bars work pretty well and hopefully that helps you if you need to add them to your game. Thanks for watching.